Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, Boy Genius here. I'm not even gonna use my mic. I don't care how this crappy video quality sounds right now. I'm not even. I'm just here to make a rat. Do not buy these, guys. Do not buy Motorola Android phones. Matter of fact, I'll show you my mom's. Where is hers at? Okay, that's not it. Her phone's in my collection. Okay. Yeah, do not buy Motorola's. Do not buy them. They are pieces of crap. The software on these are pieces of crap. Yes, they both have the same freaking hardware, the same system UI, and they're both dog shit. So, what is the problem? Well, the problem is, this thing constantly freezes. Like, if I'm on YouTube, right? I'm watching a video. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> okay, I gotta swipe up. Find something else to watch. Oh, that looks interesting. I'm gonna touch it. And then, as I'm going to watch it, literally, I see. Say big on Walmart, friend. It. Ew. Ew. Like, it freezes like that. Like,. I can't get through a second of a video that it freezes. Or sometimes it'll freeze to the point where it just comes completely unresponsive. And then sometimes it'll come back and then it'll throw me out of YouTube saying YouTube is unresponsive. Or in the app, when I'm on YouTube, it'll say YouTube is not responding. Then I have to either close the app or wait. Then I usually click wait. And then it goes back to playing, but doesn't really improve, though. Or sometimes I'll have to close the app, and it seems to actually do better. I don't know why. But man. What a freaking horrible mistake to buy one of these. As much as I do like the older Motorola phones, I like those a heck of a lot better than these ones. The ones we get today. You know? Like, those, the razors and stuff like that, them old school razors, do not have as many malfunctions as these newer generation Motorola phones. You know? And it could be just my mom's phone and my phone. I don't know. But next time I this if this phone dies to where it doesn't work anymore, I'm going back to freaking Samsung or LG. Or I'm I don't know. I might just go back to LG or Samsung. I've had an LG before and I think it works a heck of a lot better than a freaking Motorola. These things are just cheap pieces of crap. Or actually not cheap. This thing was like a hundred dollars when I bought it from Walmart. Yes, a hundred dollars for a phone that can barely, just barely, play YouTube right without freezing. And then another reason why this phone sucks is the storage space. Right now I got freaking. Oh, I don't know. Let me check. I forgot. I forgot the amount of storage space I had. So give me a moment. Let me check. 91% storage space used. And I don't have that many apps on my phone. I only got Twitch, Zedge, YouTube. Well, it comes with YouTube, obviously. So I'm not even going to count that. Let me try again. YouTube, Sedge, Twitch, TikTok, Roblox, Rally Fury, 
photo collage, you know. Yeah, not even t 20 freaking apps. I got Zed, I got YouTube Studio, I got Twitch, I got TikTok, I got Snapchat, I got Thumbnail Maker, I got Roblox, I got Photo Collage, Music Speed Changer, Messenger, Luminati, Photo Editor, Luminati Photo Editor, and Instagram, and Designer City, and CapCut, and 7-Eleven, and Amazon Alexa. No way should that take up that much fucking amount of space. Oh yeah, and the app that I used to make some songs with. No way should all that, all of that, take up that fucking amount of storage. Uh, that, that, I cannot speak. You know, that fucking amount of storage. That's just so ridiculous. I feel like I'm getting ripped off. I feel like I'm getting ripped off. I got ripped off by buying this phone. For two of those reasons. I, I can't even think of any other bad reason than the crappy storage space and the freaking the constant freezing. I just can't believe it. I got 29 gigabytes used when I don't even have that much apps. I have 15 gigabytes worth of apps. And 4.7 gigabytes of trash and crap like that. How do you get 29 out of 32 gigabytes gigabytes used? Like, what the hell, Motorola? What the hell? And what the hell, Motorola? Why you gotta make such dirt cheap, freaking quality ass phones? Samsung is way better. I could. I could have gotten a Samsung that probably would have worked twice as better than this, you know? Motorola, you used to be the shit back then. With the Motorola Razors and stuff that were all coming out. What happened to your quality? Like, it's gone down a little bit. You know? But it could just be me. It could just be my phone. But tell me why my mom's phone operates just the same. Like, it's just as dirt cheap crap. I mean, honestly. Like, hers has problems. The freezing problems and stuff, too. And I don't know about the storage space. But, like, I'm pretty sure... I have witnessed her using it a few times and, like, had a fit because of the freezing and stuff like that. Now, your phone should not freeze that amount of freaking times or run out of storage that many times that you go to download something on it. Like, what the heck? And it just gets me so angry to the point where I just want to completely launch this thing up into the air at the wall, at the window, but I can't do it. Or I'll just take it like I did with my Samsung and just completely <laughs> like pound the crap out of it. Yeah. But that's my video, guys. Do not buy these phones. Do not buy them. Yes, they're Motorola, but don't buy them. Do not. I'm warning you. If anything, guys, go with a Samsung. Or go with a freaking uh, dirt cheap flip phone. If you don't like today's smartphones, just go with that. Go with anything. Or go with an iPhone. If you're that rich, just go with an iPhone, you know? But, like, I can't get iPhones, though. Because, like, my, you know. But, uh, yeah, guys. Go with any of those phones. Save yourself from buying one of these pieces of shit. Just, please, anything better than a Motorola. Unless you're buying a classic Razer. Not the new Razer. I actually don't even know. I can probably guess the newer razors will probably be the same 
have the same UI and stuff like that. Let's just hope it's better than the UIs that are on the Moto GBs and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, that's going to end it for my little rant. If you guys like this video and want more, subscribe. Alright, peace out.